big truffle tongue spa. This is the uh, truffle pasta with the uh, oh, shaved truffle. truffle. Pasta. Wow, Roma. I got, I got a black bass here for you guys. Wow. Got the and a black. Okay, that's a lot of food. You're right. You're absolutely right. A gold flake. Baked Alaska. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. The Bellagio 2.5 rake structure is as follows. Full six players, $1 at $10, $2 at $20, $3 at $30, $4 at $40, and that's the maximum. Pot's 400, it's still $4. This all goes down by $1 if there's one less person. So if there's five people at the table, the max rake is $3. If there's four people at the table, the max rake is $2. If there's three people at the table, the max rake is $1. Very reasonable rake schedule. I quickly get called for the 2-5 game. Me and Dan C get to be at the same table. This should be a profitable and entertaining situation. Let's gamble. I lose about five or six small pots to start the night off. Down about 200 bucks, but I keep adding on. I want that maximum 500 stack. If I got an edge, I want to get max value on my big hands. With blinds at. $2, $5. I open under the gun with pocket eights. Dan Chang is two to my left. We're six handed. He three bets to 30. A strange sizing. This is not limit hold'em. He's not aware of that. The big blind, some sort of a 30 year old Caucasian reg, puts in the flat call. Uh, I'm aware of what this range might look like. Some uh, top 10, 15% hands that want to see a flop. And we put in the call with pocket eights. No reason to four bet here. The flop comes, nine, eight, three, rainbow. Love to see it. Action checks over to Action Dan, who puts in a C bet of $50. Pretty reasonable. Big blind folds, it's back to us. Now the question is, do we flat call or do we check raise? Against a loose action player that doesn't like to fold, it's best to fat play your monsters. If he has an over pair, he's never folding. If he has a nine, he's never folding. So let's get it while the getting's good. I make it the standard 3x, uh, black chip on top, 150 to go. DJ and Dan wastes no time and shoves all in, having us covered. We put in the call, he shows us pocket kings, we show him pocket eights. The turn is a face card, the jack. The river is a deuce and we get the full double, we're up to $1,025. Feels good man. With blinds at two dollars, five dollars. Action Dan limps under the gun. Action folds to me in the small blind. I have pocket jiggities. That's right, no jiggity, no doubt. Make it twenty-five to go. Big blind folds and Dan calls. Flop comes. Jack eight three. Think on this flop texture. It's best to check and let my man bluff. We double block top pair, so it's unlikely he has that type of hand. There are some straight draws, so I think it's more likely he's gonna bluff than call bets in this situation. I check and he quickly bets $50. About a pot size wager, music to my ears, polarizes his hand strength, although he's not too keen on it, what different sizings mean. The correct play is to uh, check call, represent a capped range and weakness, and top set is one of the best hands to do this with. 
So we call. The turn is a five, bringing a backdoor flush draw. I check, and he quickly bets $150. Does he have pocket eights? Did he slow play an overpair? What what did he limp call with preflop? I'm not sure, but he has about $250 behind. I could just call and call any river, let him just bluff it off, or we could uh, check jam here and just try to get value from his like 9-10 draws, 8x combos, or the lone jack. So I decided to jam all in. He looks discouraged and eventually folds. And we take down a nice pot. <laughs> Tops. Only tops it. In retrospect, I should have just showed some discipline and continued with my check call line. Let it blast off. But you know, you live and you learn. Every play has its pros and cons. And we're now up to about just over $1,200. I love the Bellagio 256 Max game, except for having to wear this stupid mask that keeps pulling on my ears and causing me much breathing problems. No fun, but this is what reality looks like in 2020. Check. With two five blinds, we have about a $1,200 stack. Feeling good, running good. Action day and limps under the gun. There's two other limps, and I'm in the small blind with two black aces. A sight for sore eyes, raise it up to $35. Big blind folds, action Dan calls. We're heads up again. We're going to war. The flop comes. Jack, 10, five, three clubs. We got the overpair, we got the nut flush draw. We don't have to protect against too much. So we're gonna continue with our trap line. Sure, betting is fine, but I think check calling might be better here. I check and he quickly throws out a black chip. That's right, 100 US dollars. Gotta stick with the plan. We're check calling them all the way down no matter what happens. Of course, we want a club to pop off, but we put in the call. The turn is a 10, pairing the board. I check and Dan decides to show me his top card, the queen of clubs, and bets $200. What the hell does this mean? Is this a sign of strength? Is this his best card? Did he flop a flush? Does he have queen jack or queen 10, pocket queens? Tough to say. Let me know in the chat what you think his other card is before you watch the remainder of this video. I don't care too much. I was gonna just play check call regardless and I put in the call for $200. The river's a brick. I check and he quickly shoves all in for $290. I have him covered. We got 300 there? One, two, about 270, 270. Aces? Gotta stick with the plan and deal with whatever variance the poker gods might bring us. I put in the call and he shows me queen 10 offsuit. Good flop, even better turn from and we lose over a $1,200 pot. Our aces got cracked by DJ Dan. That's sick. I folded the, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, your 45 got me to fold the- Now you need to put this for what I can do some clubs. Can you do some clubs? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we went, and I would have blocked it, right? You did. I would have gotten all your money. Oh, I'm so depressed. Mm. <laughs> With blinds at $2, $5, we have uh, $475 to start the hand. Look down at 6.5 of hearts. We raise it up to 15 under the gun and I get three callers. I'm hoping to flop well and flop well we do. Nine, eight, seven, two hearts. We got a straight and we got a straight flush draw. Doesn't get much better than this. Action checks to us, only Dan is behind us. Uh, definitely could bet big for value here, but Dan's bet frequency to check to is very, very high. And we can see how other people react, possibly put some dead money in this pot. Of course, we don't have the nuts. Jack 10 is a real possibility. Dan quickly bets $100. The other two players fold and my options are check call, or jam all in for $460.
I don't think this is the correct hand to slow play. There's a lot of action killers that can come off and we're still out of position. So we could check jam, repping a draw. So I'm all in for 460 with the straight, with the flush redraw, a very rare occurrence and no limit hold'em. Dan eventually tank folds and we take down a nice pot. Two five blinds, I have about $650 in my stack. Asian male, age 50 to 100, limps under the gun. Action Dan makes it 15 next to act, gets two callers. I'm in the big blind with pocket queens. Hello, ladies. So let's bump it up, $75 to go, let's get that value. Under the gun, tanks. Normally, this is a pretty easy fold spot, but what's he thinking about? He's weighing a lot of options here. What type of hand could he be holding that limps under the gun, sees a ton of action, and has a tough decision. I can think of one hand. He eventually puts in the flat call. Everybody else folds, and we're heads up to the flop. I'm praying for a queen, because otherwise I'm just not gonna put any money in this pot. I was born at night, but I wasn't born last night. The flop comes king, four deuce, two diamonds, I check it to him, he looks at my stack, and eventually checks behind. Does he have jacks? The turn is a 10. Still ahead of jacks, that's about it. I check, he looks disgusted, and bets $300, quickly. What's he repping? Aces. I snap fold, pocket queen's face up, I say show the bluff, he refuses to show, one minute later, he looks at me, and behind his muffled voice, due to the plexiglass and his facial covering, he points at Dan and said, I just wanted to trap him. You're too good. Thank you for the compliment. Glad I only lost $75 with pocket queens.